Welcome to AGUD Civil War II. I'm Charles, and we're going to be starting um, a play by email game uh, against my esteemed component, um, Ironclad. Um, this is actually the first time I've played uh, as the Confederates, um, so kind of going to be going along and, and really learning as, as, as I play. Um, so basically, I've already kind of done um, the decisions of, of what I've decided to do. So basically, uh, near Fort Sumter, I'm sending um, Beauregard and with a couple of uh, you know, small South Carolina brigades to take Fort Sumter. Um, everything else will be they'll be walking just to Charleston, except for the cavalry unit. Um, they'll be going up here. Um, as far as what I will be building uh, from a military um, standpoint, I'm basically um, just like this. Uh, I think it's a gunboat was already uh, being built. Um, Couple of militia units in Charleston, a small infantry brigade, and then a six-pound battery. Um, I'm not making any other decisions um, to issue war bonds yet. I'll, um, I will wait. Oh, actually, do we want to? Well, yes. So we're going to declare the embargo, um, and that will get us. Uh, give us three national morale. Um, so, oh, by the way, if you're just starting here, you're new to the game, you probably want to start with the tutorial series that I um, developed as opposed to this. This will be kind of like focused more on uh, strategy as from a Confederate standpoint. So I haven't actually formulated my long-term strategy yet, but um, I think I'm going to do some action out west in Kansas and Missouri and, and possibly uh, farther on the frontier. And then, of course, um, working... To, you know, as, as like we always can to keep our objective in strategic cities. Uh, one thing I do do early on in the game um, is um, basically I pull out all units from cities and any fort and infantry um, and infantry and uh, the main battery. They're they're really so small they're not much use to leave them in there and by pulling them out. Um, if they are attacked, you can, you, know, you might be lucky enough to, to actually retreat with something. Or uh, if you decide to send forces there, then you're actually in a better better position. Um, of course, this was a challenge the Confederates actually had too, which was how much to invest uh, for forces um, and forts. And uh, yeah, we pretty much know that pretty much all of them in North Carolina, many of other them fell uh, by late 1862. Um, okay, so we're going to run the turn. Um, now I'm hoping that Beauregard will actually. It says he's active, so. But um, oh, by the way, the rules we're pretty much playing with all the historical rules, and we're playing the veteran option on the activation rules. So you don't always know um, what, um, yeah, whether your 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 leader, or your general, will actually um, attack or, or not. Um, Okay, so Beauregard is moving. Looks like he is prepared to attack. And it's a victory. We lose 184 men. They lose none. Okay. Maybe we had captured them, and that, that does appear to be the case. So Beauregard attacks, captures the, uh, the, 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 the tiny battery in Sumter. Um, and uh, I think the only other pretty big action is, um, we'll see if this goes to 103. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I think the national morale should go up to uh, 103. Actually, goes to 104. Um, so let's take a look at the results. So uh, um, my squadrons uh, went out to the Gulf. Um, of course, we won the battle. We captured Fort Sumter. Um, the two uh, militia units I talked about have been have finished in Charleston. Um, we our gunboats will now be active. Um, here we go. So here are some of the key messages. So we've started to build uh, fortifications um, in Washington, Richmond, and Alexandria. Of course, we only control Alexandria. No core before 1862. Uh, we bombarded Fort Sumter, so that gives us an extra uh, one of national morale. Oh, okay, okay, so Ironclad is he's already decided to issue bonds and to raise taxes. Wow, on the first turn. So we may have a very, very busy um, busy year soon. 
great. So we got plus 15 on the foreign entry, and then we have new um, new generals available in Virginia. Virginia has, Virginia has seceded. And uh, let's see. So North Carolina is still, is still um, yeah, they have not seceded yet. Okay, so this has been the first turn. Um, you know, it usually takes a few turns to kind of really get the action going. Um, but I'll have to kind of like make some decisions and think about uh, if it's if I want to go ahead and issue those war bonds. All right, see you next time.